begins by training the adults in schools to shift their mindsets around the value and importance of emotions. We call it an emotions matter mindset. What that means is that they become more like emotion scientists. They're curious about emotions. They ask questions about emotions. We begin with leadership. We've learned that it doesn't work without the leadership and without the teachers buying it. When you live the work, it makes a difference. And when students see you live the work, they believe it when you bring it to them. We teach the same skill set to pre-K as we do to school leaders. And those skills are the skills of recognizing, understanding, labeling, expressing, and regulating your emotions. Our teachers need to be on the front lines being role models for our children. And so this training is all about training teachers to be emotionally intelligent and for the administrators also to really um, see that as a priority and to bring that to the school. Your emotion system is inextricably linked to your cognitive system. What that means is that every thought, every feeling, every decision, every relationship, every activity has an emotional component to it. We first start with this very simple question, how are you feeling? And when you ask someone how they are feeling, you're inviting their stories, you're inviting their humanity. We went with an open mind, but not really knowing anything about it. And we left feeling like different people. I mean, this work has changed me as a person. It really just becomes part of who you are as a person. And then if you're a teacher, it becomes what your classroom is. And if you're a leader, it's what your school is all about. The beginnings was a discussion and a conversation, and then the, we used the ruler's tools and sort of the implementation plan to slowly uh, bring it to the high school. There's definitely a lot of teachers that still sort of aren't sure, even if they didn't embrace it to begin with, now they realize that it's gonna help them more than hinder them in their classrooms. It's not an extra thing that we're doing. This is something that's going to allow you to be a better teacher and for kids to learn more. A lot of the things that um, you know Ruler encourages are things that teachers are already kind of doing in their classroom. And so it's important to realize that you can sort of seamlessly integrate this into your curriculum without it taking a tremendous amount of time away from your teaching. When I do a training, for example, people are always asking, how do I do this? And we always say, think about your context. Who is in your room, who your students are, who your community is. Because you really need to adjust it to your, your staff, your community. It's gonna be different uh, for different schools. I'm really impressed with the creativity of my colleagues. I think a lot of teachers have come up with some innovative things. I wanna kind of back up to the beginning of the year in September when we created the charter where we made our mega list of feelings that we want to have every day at school and then we narrowed down that list to our top five feelings which were, can we say them all together? Excited, included, jolly, supported, and important. We certainly have seen examples of teachers using these practices to um, figure out how to create more positive environments for their students. We like to roll out ruler in a school. In the process of infusing it into the classroom, the kids are bringing it home and also the schools are training the families. The more you put it into practice and you talk about um, relationship quality, attention memory, and learning, decision making, how emotions drive all that, it's going to become the normal for you. And then you're going to be talking about it with people at the soccer field, at the baseball field. We have learned something extraordinarily valuable from the Yale Center of Emotional Intelligence. It's incumbent upon us now to share that with families. Building that bridge between what we're doing here at school and the home has been the most important part of this work. We trained a group of parent leaders to sort of co-facilitate this workshop with the rest of our parents. And so it built those parents' investment in the school. They felt like they had a leadership role. They were co-facilitating with their teacher, which also builds like strong relationships. The ruler approach is based on skills, strategies, and dispositions that are important, you know, in the academics and in life, in every context of the world in which we live in. One thing that's unique about ruler is that it's about how principals and superintendents lead. It's about how teachers teach. It's about how students learn. And it's about how families parent so that we can build that common language to embed social-emotional learning across every domain.